Hey guys, Ryan from Matt Kite here. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Ion Waist Board Leash. Alright, so I started riding the Waist Leash because as soon as I started switching my feet on the board, I was having all kinds of issues stepping on the leash and I was trying to figure out a way to prevent this. Uh, so that way I could switch my feet and all I had to worry about was switching my feet and riding the other direction rather than stepping on a leash, getting my foot off the leash. Uh, so naturally I was looking at calf leashes and waist leashes, ended up grabbing this Ion waist leash here. I've been riding it for a while now. Um, it's a it's a pretty awesome leash. The, the one uh, complaint or gripe I would say that I do have with it is the uh, diameter seems to be smaller uh, so this one is labeled as a small medium uh, we don't have any medium larges in right now um, but that may be something to consider uh, I'm about a 32 34 inch waist fits me pretty well with my wetsuit and everything on the velcro is super sticky so you don't need a whole lot of overlap there uh, however uh, much larger of a waist throw on extra layers of neoprene uh, and this leash may become a little bit on the small side for you. Uh, but a couple features and benefits here that I like out of this leash. For one, uh, this is pretty cool. The leash will actually unclip with just a carabiner here uh, from the uh, waist portion of that. Now, what that allows you to do, a couple of things I've used it for. Uh, I am riding a wing harness now. So now I no, no, no longer need this part. Uh, I just clip this right on my wing harness. Uh, it keeps everything a little more simple, a little more direct. All right, so another thing that I like about this leash is that if you unclip it from the waist belt here uh, and you've got the other end connected to your board, it makes it really easy to attach this to your wing and leave it secured uh, on the beach or on the shoreline somewhere and not have to worry about your wing blowing away uh, rather than having to come up with something a little more elaborate or time consuming. Uh, then when you're ready to go ride, unclip it from your leash, grab onto your, uh, or unclip it from your wing, grab onto your wing, clip it back onto the belt, or uh, in my case, clip it onto your uh, harness, and you're ready to go ride. Uh, so very simple system there, a simple way to take care of uh, wing management while you're uh, setting your stuff up on the beach, which is pretty cool. Yeah, other than that, coming down here towards the end, it is a coiled leash does a pretty good job of staying off the board while you're riding so you don't have any issues stepping on it. You do have a swivel down here at the board attachments uh, to try and prevent any uh, um, twisting in that line. Uh, the more twisting you get in a coiled line, the more potential you have to get some sort of kink or anything like that. I really have not had any issues with this leash, so the swivel seems to be working well. Um, all the way back here, now they actually uh, attach a, a rope onto here. I don't know if that is meant to attach directly to your leash plug. Uh, that's not the way that I've been using it because obviously you'd have to feed the whole uh, leash through. And again, you can remove it from the waist belt for that. So I've just been attaching this to the leash rope here. Um, but you could, if you didn't have a leash rope, you could pop this off of the waist belt real quickly, feed it through there, and you're good to go. Again, real nice Velcro here. So a really secure attachment when you double that over itself, double, triple, quadruple over itself. Uh, so you know that Velcro is not gonna fail on you and you're gonna stay connected to your board. Yeah, and so there you have it. This is the Ion waist leash for your wing foil board. This is what I've been riding for the last couple of months here. Uh, I've really been loving it. If you're thinking about checking out a waist leash, definitely give this one a go. This has been Ryan with Matt Kite. If you've got any other videos that you'd like to see, uh, drop a comment down below in the comment section. Give us a like, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more of this content. As always, thanks for watching.